Hello, today we're going to show you how to use the Zebra printer and a Mac computer with eBay and Altai shipping services. As you can see the printer is right here already connected to the Mac via USB cord. We just go in and turn the printer on. There is a switch behind it. And then you're going to see your printer with the light switch, on, uh, light switch on. Then from here we're going to go into your settings like so we're gonna go into your printers and you're gonna see right there all the printers you're gonna click on the plus sign so you can install your printer and this is the printer we need to install is the Zebra LP2844 then from here we're gonna choose the printer software Max already come included with the software we're gonna choose the go all the way to the bottom we're gonna choose the Zebra EPL2 label printer so it goes like that okay and when you say we just say add now you see right here you have your zebra lp 2 a 44 printer ready to go okay we close this then from ebay there is a program called right in your ebay account there is a program called octane shipping services or octane shipping manager we just open that up the program is internet based you don't need to install it on your computer you can, it works from a Mac, Windows, any computer so right now it's just retrieving all the orders and from here we'll be able to choose all the orders that we need to we want to ship so as you can see right here I have all these orders and I'm gonna I'm gonna select all then from here I'm going to be choosing the, the ones that we want to ship today so this one is going to be shipped out be afraid so all of these are going to be shipped out from here okay this one that one's going to stay shipped out from here okay everything else is perfect okay all of these okay now that we know which orders we're going to ship we're going to say ship orders all right so we just wait all right so from here as you can see you have the address where the order came from the order can be pulled from eBay, PayPal, or Amazon. So right here I have the item that I'm going to be shipping. And right here in this window I can choose whether I want to use USPS or UPS. Since this item is very small, it's about 3 pounds, I'm just going to use USPS. I'm going to choose Priority Mail. I can choose from all different services, First Class, Priority, Express Mail, Media Mail, if, if the item qualifies for it. And then I'm going to choose large actually thick envelope mm, let's see from here okay it's actually flat rate envelope okay so when it's a flat rate pounds um, I mean weight doesn't matter so we just click here and it'll show me how much I'll be paying for it and I just realized this item is actually going to Canada so this is the price for the price uh, flat rate envelope so we're just gonna say it's gonna be a gift and here to say self adhesive this is one of the only programs that can be used to print international shipping labels with the zebra printer so let's see we just put that and from here we're just gonna put something that is, looks much better okay so now that one's gonna be 12.95 flat rate envelope and that's perfect okay so now we'll go to the next one down this one is same exact thing but this, oh, this one is going to the US so we're just gonna change this to that red envelope they wanna you don't have to ch click on the money sign but it's a good idea to see how much it will be okay from here it'll be the same exact thing and as you can see our defaults are medium flat rate but I can change it to anything I want so envelope okay a thousand it's gonna be eight thousand okay this one instead of using 
Hey, uh, let's see. Instead of using USPS, I'm going to choose UPS. Because this is actually very heavy. So let's see. This one is actually 4,000 count. 4,000 count. So that's going to be 23 pounds. I can go right here. All right, so that's what it costs. I know that um, I can I can pay for less if I go you um, FedEx. So I'm gonna leave this for, leave this for later. And you can see this order came from PayPal. It didn't come from eBay. And if I had an Amazon order today, it'll say Amazon. So this right here is just a something small. So I'm just gonna use original array A. And for people that sell books, they can also use media mail but of course you'll have to be different let's see let's say if I say package I can choose media mail right here okay let's say package you say it can go media mail but of course this item does not qualify for media mail so I'm just gonna say a priority mail okay so priority mail then we'll go to the next one. This is going to be. Oh, this is another one to Canada. So I'm going to use flat rate envelope. So that's the cost. Then here's so going to say two. I'm going to make this easier to, to read. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we'll go to the bottom to the next one. This is going to be the same thing. It is a envelope. Okay, this is going to be a zebra, so I'm gonna put in a large flat rate box. I can send it either UPS or USPS, but USPS is much faster and it costs about the same, so I'm going to ship a USPS. Okay, this is another one. And from here, you see, I can even see the customer's notes. So this customer wants to ship right away, so I'm going to ship it right away. Okay, so it's going to be the USPS flat rate. It's going to be another zebra. Let's say I know this, this one is five pounds, so I'm going to see if, uh, if it's less expensive to ship it be a um, regular priority mail or if it's going to be okay so it's about the same so I'm gonna ship it regular USPS priority mail instead of a flat rate okay so from this one I'm gonna use a instead of UPS I'm gonna use USPS and it's going to be medium flat rate box much faster no matter the weight and then another self stick shipping labels. Okay, so it's a red envelope. Okay, so now that I'm happy with uh, the costs and the shipping companies, I'm going to say ship selected. And the program will do its thing. It'll create the labels. It'll charge my credit card that I have on file for the shipping information. Okay, this is what I do. So I usually just buy $100 at a time so I don't have to worry about it. So right now it'll generate the labels. See right here, these are all the labels that I generated before. Okay, so from here, I'll just wait for the labels to show up. And uh, you can always go back to this in case the labels don't show up or if the printer didn't work, you can always go back to this page and reprint the labels anytime you want. This program is great. It works with Macs and PCs. You can even use it with your smartphone but of course you will not be able to print but at least you can start the label the labeling process okay so the labels are ready I just open them with preview okay so that's how the labels look like that is our first class international label and of course my packing slip the good thing about this program is you can print the packing slip and the shipping label at the same time so I just go in and Print the labels, okay, file, print. Okay, from here, I'm going to choose my Zebra LP2A44, 
make sure the label size is correct at 4 by 6 then just say print and it will print all my 22 labels and the labels are gonna come out the printer right here and you see alright so the labels are starting to come out you see uh, this instead of uh, taking you two or three hours it only took me about 20 minutes and uh, the labels are coming out nice and pretty They're very legible this is our international priority mail label and then our packing slip you can put on the packing slip anything you want to it and uh, now the labels are ready I just need to take them off the printer and start packing alright thank you for watching you have a good day